Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make custom particles that look a lot better than the default particles as seen on the screen right now. But before I get into that, quick little uh, shameless plug, join my Discord server if you want to talk to me or others in the community, and uh, you can show off your work and do whatever you like. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get back into the video. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to transfer these terrible looking particles, which are the tip the typical like uh, default fire particles on Roblox to something like this. Um, these are all custom particles that um, I made myself. This video is going to require you using something like, I'm using Photoshop, but you guys can use any other um, uh, drawing software or anything like that you have. And yeah, let's get into Photoshop. Okay, so once you're in Photoshop or whatever software you're going to use, um, click create new. I'm going to go for a 500 by 500 uh, pixel uh, dimensions. And I'm going to start off by changing the background to a different color, preferably like a dark gray. So the basis of this is you need the particles to be bright white. And this is so you can you can adjust the color in studio or um, however you like so it's um because if you have you, your color already like a green or a red for let's say a fire um it's going to be harder to edit uh, later on now to start out i'm going to use the brush tool and increase the uh, the size to roughly like 25 and you want to change the opacity to uh lower than 100 obviously and then change your color to white so now as you can see has um it brightens the more you uh, paint over the same line now once you've done that you want to create like roughly a flame kind of shape so i'm going to increase the size again to roughly like 50 and then you can use whatever brush you want. You might want to use the faded ones, the blurred on the edges, because it just adds a little bit of a, a cleaner edge, I guess. So you want to create kind of like a, a flame shape, like so. And that's all you really need. And then you kind of want to just paint like so, just to fill in. And now this is literally the, the the main it doesn't have to be like sort of uh, smooth or anything like that because we can adjust settings in studio but this is basically all you need kind of like this shape and depending on what kind of particles you're gonna make you might want to adjust this shape speaking for I'm, I'm making a, a fire in this tutorial so I'm just gonna keep it like this if you if you'd like you can go to layer layer style blending options and add an outer glow like that um, and after that your uh, particles are pretty much done now I'm gonna hide the, uh, the basic layer and I'm going to file save as uh, on my desktop you can save it where you want and save it as a PNG I'm gonna name it fire now once you've saved that you can hop uh, back into your studio okay so when you're in studio you want to import your particles now I'm going to copy and paste this campfire real quick and I'm going to delete all the current particles inside it. And now what you want to do is add your own particle emitter and then go into the properties and click texture, add your image, I've already added it here and now you get this. So now you have to adjust the properties. Now the main properties I'm going to um, touch are mainly the lifetime and uh, transparency and stuff like that and the colour. So the lifetime I want to change to roughly like 3, I believe, maybe 2. And now when you go to transparency you want to click these three little dots and now this gradually uh, changes the, the transparency of the particles as you can see they're kind of getting more transparent the higher you go up so you want to lift the right side all the way up so it fades out now we can adjust the color so if I click on color click the same little three dots and the starter color is going to be like a, a dark orange to 
like a lightish yellow like so and now to make it look more like a fire you should change the light emission to one and then if we go into size click the three little dots again we want to make it smaller the higher up it goes like so and then we might want to increase the size at the bottom and now we have the basis of a fire now you can adjust the uh, the curve of the fire by changing the acceleration so if I change this to like 2 it will uh, slowly bend as you can see it's kind of starting to bend now you could do this to simulate like wind in the fire and stuff like that now if you do the uh, the same method with the, the smoke you kind of get this final outcome and then I've added some small uh, sparks for that added touch these aren't really needed but basically all you need is the fire and the smoke really to have a fire um, you want to use you want to make sure you adjust all the properties to make the fire stand out you want to make the transparency low at the bottom and then higher at the top so the smoke doesn't appear through the actual fire but that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to join the discord server the link is in the description and probably going to be the pinned comment and yeah peace